Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to utility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. But the yard around the rectory was just grass, so I decided because I had a dog then, put up a nice fence and we put a lot of nice shrubbery, a little water fountain there, a fire pit, and it's a very nice thing to sit and enjoy. And as I was sitting like in May, I was watching all the shrubs and plants grow up, and in this one particular, I don't know if you want to call it a shrub or plant, kept growing and growing. I gave a cup to his disciples and said, take this all and drink for me. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me.